Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the virtual stage, Lois Wagner, with her presentation entitled, Finding Your Feet After Failure. Finding Your Feet After Failure, Lois Wagner. Come with me, if you will, into the Arctic Circle. It is winter. It is bitterly cold. Fresh snow covers everything like a white, gentle crystal duvet. My whole body trembles as I pull the oversized snowsuit over my many layers of thermal clothing. Stumbling, I pull frozen fingers into gloves. With helmet on and goggles in place, <laughs> I look a little bit like the Michelin man's wife. With teeth chattering in my mouth and my frozen exposed red nose, I am finally ready, ready to embark on my dream adventure, a snowmobile ride through the icy forest. I heave my overburdened self onto this giant powerful monster, its motor purring in anticipation. And off we go, hurtling at a raucous roaring speed down the frozen river. It is a winter wonderland. Snow-covered trees to the left, snow-covered trees to the right. I keep my eyes on the path ahead. <laughs> Look, someone shouts, pointing to a moose on the ridge. Where? I respond. <laughs> and being a woman, I turn my whole body, and not just my head or my eyes. Up the embankments I go and over, flying through the air like a, an escaped marshmallow from a newly opened packet. And plifum, I face plant into the snowbank, the heavy bike landing on top of me. Unhurt, luckily, I pick myself up and I start to laugh. After all, what's the point in crying? I've learned some valuable lessons about snowmobiles and about keeping my eye on the road ahead. I want to blame the guide and myself, but I forgive us, us both, and I get back on the bike and move on to enjoy the rest of the adventure. Hmm, that's interesting. Pick yourself up, laugh, learn from your mistake, forgive, move on. P L L F M. Plifum. That spells plifum, the same sound that my face made smashing into the snow. I may have something here. A few days later, I found myself in another icy situation, this time standing on two thin slats of a dog sled mushing across the frozen lake. Now, they had told us that if we fall off, the dogs would keep on running and we would have to walk back to the cabins alone. So there I am wishing across the snow and a four dog open sleigh, <laughs> but I'm falling behind the rest because there's snow gathering on the leather pad at my feet that serves as a break. And in my wisdom and my vast experience of 10 minutes on a, on a dog sled, I lift my foot to scrape the snow off the brake pad and lift them. I land face first into the snow holding onto the dog sled for dear life so that they don't run away from me. The yapping, excitable dogs curiously looking at me, wondering why their human is making more noise than themselves. So I apply my new methodology. I pick myself up. I laugh. I learn. I forgive myself. And I move on. Since my snow adventures and many other mistakes and misadventures that I have had in life and in business around the globe, I am now using my snow face planting methodology to help both individuals and teams to understand that failure is not the end of the journey. It is not the end of your story and that you can pick yourself up and just use and learn and apply the plifum principles to get out of the snow and back on your sleigh. So next time you find yourself face deep in whatever your snow may be at the time, remember to plifum it. 
Pick yourself up and dust yourself off. Laugh at your misadventure. Learn from your mistake. Forgive yourself and others. And move on to more greater opportunities. My name is Lois Wagner, and I am your Plifum coach. Thank you, Lois Wagner. Let me get my, oh, there I've got video on. My apologies for pronouncing your name as Wagner earlier. That was the English version. We'll go back to the German Wagner. <laughs>